Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to the live stream. Are we all good? Hello, I'm ready and waiting. Hello, Caroline. Hello, hello. Well, let's get right into it. Okay. First thing you're listening to is the good old ticker ticker. Mine's gone completely blank. Here we go. Fine, fine. AM8 microphone. This is what you are listening to right now. But on our product carousel, which I've not loaded up, bear with me whilst we load this. And love, there we are. Okay, so on our product carousel on Amazon, you will see that we've highlighted the fine, fine SC3 mixer desk. And before we begin, super sale time, because this is on sale today. Now, this is a limited time deal, so I better show you what it can do, hadn't I? So this little colourful beast that you can see down here, apologies if I make any sound with the microphone because I'm constantly going to be moving around so I'll probably start banging into things. But this is our little mixer desk. What this is allowing us to do is connect an XLR microphone up to our PC. So let's take a closer look. Let me put my light on here so you can see what it looks like. There we are, beautiful. So as I'm speaking, you'll notice in the top corner here, We've got our little volume level there, which should tell us if we are peaking the microphone, because this will go to the red right at the top. We have, oh sorry, I'm not actually looking at this. We have volume controls here as well, so we can turn our microphone up and down. We also have line in, headphones, and line out as well. To be fair, I can turn that down, I've got nothing plugged in. Now, you'll notice as we turn this up and down, it will give you a little indicator that something's being moved, then it will switch itself off. Now, each of these here correspond to the back of the device, if we can get this into focus. So you'll see we've got a line out, a headphone line in, and a headset. And we also have a switch here to toggle between dynamic microphones and condenser microphones. So it doesn't matter which microphone you've got. It doesn't need to be a fine, fine microphone to use this either. So you can connect XLR mics. You can also connect quarter inch mics into the back of this as well. I won't unplug it because it'll obviously cut the microphone out. Now, it's got a few additional features. Now, if you're used to expensive mixing desks, so let's say like a Go XLR or a Rodecaster, where you can manipulate like frequencies and the equalization of the way you speak, your voice, this doesn't do that. This is just a cheap and cheerful way to connect an XLR mic up to your computer. But you do get a couple of additional features with this board. Let me show you. So we've got this nice rainbow effect here, which we do have control over. So we can tap this button here and go to the different color sequences. So if you don't want it to go through these various colors, you can actually select from this one here. So reds yellows, greens, dark greens, blues, and you can basically manipulate it so it matches your background. So this blue goes quite well with this blue over here. So if you've got yourself a streaming setup, you want all your colors to match, you can do it with this. We also get a darker blue, we get a purple, and we go back to this rainbow effect as well. Now, as well as the, the lights we get on here, You'll see up here we've got a 48V. Now this allows you to basically push more power to your microphone, which is called phantom power. So if you've got a mic that requires additional power, this can actually send that power to the microphone and make it usable, which is quite surprising considering how cheap this is. We have the electric option here, which is for auto-tune. So if you're into singing, you can toggle between all these different modes here, and my voice is probably changing a little bit. I'm blue, dabba dee dabba well, die, a dabba nice. dee dabba die. Little Fox has jumped in and donated 50 bits. Thank you, Little Fox. That is very kind of you. Welcome to the live stream. I hope you are well. You can disable that as well. So I'll hold it down. That will switch it off. We have custom buttons as well. So let's say, for example, you're doing some kind of podcast and you have something that you want to be repeated so for example if i held this button down and said welcome to the andy triple hdx live stream we let go of that every time i press this button on the live stream i don't think i've got this connected up to be able to show you that 
but every time we press that button that will play what's just been recorded which is quite a nice feature as well now the main feature on this which i will show here is the voice change option so if i press this you'll be able to see there's different voices so there's male female robot monster baby and elder and at the push of a button i can basically change my voice so this is not my real voice this is definitely not my real voice. This is the female voice. Giggity, giggity. We also have the robot voice, which I know I need to speak a little slower with this. We have the monster voice, which is great for Halloween parties. We have a baby voice, which sounds probably a little bit more like me. We also have the elder voice, so if you want to speak like an older person, this is the one you would use. And then we hold that button down. And that brings us back to our normal voice. Now, this works with mobile phones as well, because, let me show you the back of this. It is powered by a USB-C cable. That is the only power you've got. So, USB-C into the device. On the other end of the cable, you've got USB-C, and there's also a connector on there as well to convert it to USB-A. Now, if you do live streaming on your mobile phone, on, let's say, TikTok or Instagram, this works. And if you want to change your voice push of a button that's it so you can do a live stream on instagram for example tap the button it will change your voice live on the live stream i have tested it to double check that <coughs> oh sorry so once again really nice feature you can plug speakers into this mixing desk and basically control the volume levels from the desk itself you can plug in your tablet mobile phone as well so if you want to play music from your device you can do it all through this and this is currently, as I say, a limited time deal. 39, sorry, I'm getting old, getting old. $39.99 for that mixing desk. Amazingly cheap. It's a very cheap way to get XLR mics onto your computer because computers just don't have an XLR port to plug a microphone into. So that's quite good. Now you'll notice at the bottom of the screen here, it should say the Fine Fine AM8. Now, this is the microphone you've been listening to so far through this stream now this microphone allows you to connect through xlr like we have with this mixing desk so you could pair the two together get a decent result you can also plug in a usb-c cable into this mic and plug that into your computer so you don't need any kind of mixing desk it will work straight into your pc also works in the ps4 ps5 do you need to oh so i think so i thought you said 39.09 but it's 39.99 I'm just getting old. I've lost my trail of thought now. Yes, you can connect a USB cable into this mic and it basically plugs into your PS4s, PS5, your Macs, your PC, laptop. No need to install any drivers. Works straight out of the box. And this is the raw audio you're going to get. So what you're listening to now is exactly how it's going to sound. Hopefully your voice is better than mine because mine's not great. If you use something like OBS and you do live streaming, you can basically put filters on there make this sound a little different to what it sounds now if you're using a different mixing desk like a go xlr mini that i've got over here you can change the equalization once again change the way that microphone sounds now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to a, another microphone but i will show you this one close up on camera so you get a bit of an idea of how it looks if it is something for you so let me go to my little wireless microphone so let me just mute this one. We'll unmute this little mic. There's this little mic I'm about to use as well. Once again from Fine Fine. This is the M6 mic. Once again in the product carousel. We have got it highlighted now. So let me switch over to this. Actually, it would make sense if... Uh, yeah, let's attach it to ourselves. And let's do a switcheroo now. Hello, hello. Okay, so you're now listening to the M6 mic. I will change the ticker at the bottom of the screen. And let's give you a close-up of this microphone. Now, I have absolutely destroyed this microphone. I'll be completely honest. Now, I will show you the bottom of the mic. So, we have the XLR port, USB-C port. You also get a 3.5mm jack as well, which is for the audio monitoring. So, basically, monitors the audio. No delay from you speaking. We have a mute button on front here as well. Now, 
We do get RGB lights on here, but that only works through the USB-C connection. Now, because we're going through XLR, we lose the functionality of the RGB lights and the mute button. Now, I'm hiding this here. I've pulled one of the buttons off. Bad Andy. I've got a new button on the way to get this replaced. So, see this button here? Identical there. Now, I'll give you a sneak peek. Look, I've pulled the button off when I was packing it away. Silly Andy. Now, this one here controls the volume for your audio monitoring. This one here that was a button controls the audio for the, the gain on the microphone. This button here will control your RGB lights as well. So you get the rainbow effect, the same as you do on the mixing desk, and you can select one of the standard colors, so like a red, blue, green, so on. So uh, yeah, so the start of the stream, that is what you were listening to, the Fine Fine AM8 in the product carousel, which is currently, let me, let me check it out, product carousel, currently $54.99. Not a bad price, considering it's XLR and USB-C as well. Let me move these down a little bit. Now, I can see that somebody is checking out the gaming mouse, which is actually what I was about to show next. Now, <clears throat> the wife has bought me a brand new mouse. Now, I'll show you my old mouse. This was my old mouse. This was my TechNet mouse, which, I'll be honest, I absolutely love it. I get the... Five additional buttons on the side there. We've got our left click, right click, little scroll wheel. We can change the DPI as well. Been great. Now, she's bought me the Red Dragon M908 mouse, which I think I can drag this a little bit closer, hopefully. Look how many buttons that's got. 12 buttons on the side. Absolute beast. Oh, one of my cats is uh, wondering as well. He wants to get involved in the live stream. You right, Sins? Where are you off to, mate? <coughs> right, let's give you a little close-up on this. So, yes, this is the Red Dragon M908 mouse. So, we do get the 12 buttons on the side. Because I've got this light on as well, it's a little bit difficult to see the RGB lights. You'll be able to see them here, though. So, I've got some nice lights on the go. We can change our DPI there as well. We also get an additional trigger button there as well. So if you're playing any kind of battle royale games, you want to use that for like sniping, you can configure that. We can toggle between different modes as well. So we have a mode switch on the bottom, optical mouse, and we can remove the weight out of the bottom. Now I've already removed all of the weight out of this. I'll be honest, this was a little bit difficult to get off. There must be some kind of technique to do this. But, oh, actually. Yeah, I've just done it amazingly easily. Why couldn't I have done it that easy when I was actually trying to do it the other day? Now, I've just dropped the bottom of my mouse and I've lost where I've, I've dropped it. So we'll uh, we'll have to continue and just pretend I just never dropped the, the bottom out of the mouse. I'll have to grab that later, after stream. Now, it does come with some software, which you download from the, the Red Dragon website. If you don't install the software, you can still use the mouse, but you you won't get the functionality of these side buttons. I don't think you get the functionality of that trigger button as well. I'll give you a quick glance of what the software looks like. So this is the, the Red Dragon software, and you can customize the lighting effects on there as well. Now I've currently got it set to rainbow. There are breathing effects. So basically you've got these effects. If you don't want any lights on the mouse, you can disable them completely. Now customize. So we can customize each of these additional buttons. You'll see up here that it highlights which button we've got clicked down. And here are all your side buttons as well. Now I've already got these kind of configured, so I'll, I'll best not mess too much. But if I give you a, a little rundown on what you can do. So if I want to change my left click, rather than left click. I can change it to a right click, middle, forward, I can go back. We also get additional options, so like cuts, paste, copies. You can send things to a printer if you want to as well. Now all these options you see there, you can configure these to any button that is on the mouse, whether that be the top buttons, the side buttons. You can configure each button individually, which I love about this mouse. 
So if you just want to open up my computer, you can config configure a button to do that. Open up your emails, you can do that as well. We've got advanced so snipers. I haven't really messed with that. Single key is basically you select a key on your keyboard and that corresponds to the button on the mouse. Now that is what I've done with my side buttons. So you'll see here, I've got a letter J because I've configured that for reload on one of my Battle Royale games. So very good for stuff like that. We've got media, so if you play music on your computer, you can pause the track, skip to next track, all that good stuff. If you don't want the DPI buttons to be on the top of the mouse, you can configure it to go onto the side buttons if you wish. So a lot of stuff you can do with this mouse. There's even a macro manager mode, which is this one here. So you can basically configure a button on the mouse to do a multi-action. So rather than left click, you could have it so it left clicks, then right clicks, then stops music. And basically configure a button, like one button to do a load of different tasks in sequence. DPI will range from 200 all the way to 1200, uh, 12,400. So you can get some serious scrolling on the go with this. You've got five modes as well, so you can configure each mode individually and basically tap the button on the mouse to, to basically go between all of them. So you'll see the little lights here, little red lights. Just select which DPI mode you want and you are good to go. I'll give you one more close-up of it. Now, I'm just getting familiar with this mouse because obviously it's got lots of buttons there. You'll see that they're slightly tilted as well. So you may find that you fancy having like these top six configured for maybe if you're doing work video editing you may configure all these for gaming on the bottom as well now something i didn't mention is you've got multiple profiles for this mouse as well so we can have five different profiles and you might be able to have even more than five but you could set one as like a gaming profile you could have one as like a video editing profile maybe one for photoshop so you've got all your shortcuts configured onto that mouse and you literally just toggle between each of the modes when you're good and ready. So you might do some Photoshop work during the day. And now if you want to start smashing people on Apex Legends. Change your profile to your gaming. All your buttons are already set up. Ready for sliding, throwing grenades. All good to go. So to be fair I'm liking it. It's quite a large mouse as well. Now I've come from this TechNet one. Which I don't know if you can actually see that too well. Oh, you can kind of. Now, this one's a little more flat on top, whereas this one's quite large. So, if you've got really small hands, you may struggle with this mouse. I haven't got the biggest hands in the world, but so far I'm, I'm getting to grips with it. I think my problem at the minute is if I'm playing games, I'm kind of used to those five buttons, like where they're positioned. So it's just retraining my brain to remember where I've configured things on this mouse. But 12 buttons on the side is actually quite nice. Especially if you do a lot of pro uh, productivity kind of stuff. It could save you a lot of time. You know, I need to configure that for Adobe Premiere, to be honest. So I can do like ripple deletes and stuff like that and copy and paste him. So I do need to get that all set up. So uh, if you do have any questions with regards to any of these products, do let us know in the chat. We're more than happy to, to help you out. Now, you may notice that I've got my guitar. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm actually pointing at it, but on stream, that looks better there. You can see I've got my guitar out, which means I've got something to show you. Now, I might actually knock this microphone around a little bit here, so do bear with me. Let me grab the old guitar. Because, once again, the wife bought me a Christmas present. Oh, God, I'm getting so old. So old, so rickety. Now, usual guitar. I might need to... I don't know if I need to swap to a different mic. Let me, let me just move this up here. Because I'm bound to hit this with the guitar. Okay, so what I've got... Is, I might even need to turn the lights off for this. I've just had some new guitar picks. And I've got three. Oh, I don't know if you can see that too well. Let me turn my lights off. Here we go. Going all romantic on you now. Look at that. Nice little LED guitar pick. So we've got a purple one. We have a green one. And we have a white one as well. 
So if you're into your music, especially if you're out playing gigs and stuff like that, you could. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. How good is that? Now, if you strum the strings very softly, then sometimes they will light up, sometimes they won't. If you're doing kind of what I do, which is power chords, I wonder if I can turn this camera around so we can get a, a better look. Let me turn that light off. Right, let's try and tilt back a little bit. I might fall off the chair doing this. So there's your purple one. We also have a green one. Beautiful. And we also get the, the white one as well. So if you're somebody who like, plays gigs, I've not seen anybody at a gig play with one of these yet. Oh, I've got a cat down here that wants to go out. Let me switch my light back on. And I'll give you a close-up of these guitar picks, because there are a few things I need to mention about them. So let me just open up this door, because I've got a cat that wants to wander outside, I think. Here I go, Lee. Do you want to go out, mate? Come on, then. Come on, in. Come on then, if you want to go. Oh, there we are. Beautiful. Right, let's move this down a little bit. Yeah, as I say, if you do have questions with regards to any of these products, do let us know. Now, I will need to give you a bit of a close-up on these picks. Because they are much larger than your standard pick. So here is the a standard pick here. So if we get a lot of glare off the light as well. So these are much larger. They're also thicker as well. So if you're like me, I tend to store this guitar pick in my guitar strings. I don't, I don't think that's actually a good thing to do. Whereas I'm not able to do it with these. They're, they're just way too thick. So do bear that in mind. So you will need to put them in. They do come in a little bag. So they do come in like a plastic bag like this. So you can just carry them around like that. But if you wanted to store them in the strings of the guitar. You can't do it unfortunately. But very nice. Let me give you a, a close up of, of that. So every time we, we give it a decent tap. It will light up. Now, they've obviously got a battery in there for them to light up. Now, I've had a little look, and I can't see how you would take these apart. So, if that battery went, I don't know if you can actually change the battery, unfortunately. Unless there's something I'm missing on there. But, I mean, because they're, they're new, they're, they work sweet. So, I'm not sure what battery life is like on there. But, very good if you're playing any kind of gigs. They're, they're decent. They look very nice. Now, I had no issue kind of playing from that to that either. Because I've played with some picks before and I'm like strumming totally different strings than what I mean to. But even though these are thicker, I've managed quite well. And I'm not very good at guitar, to be honest. So if you're a decent guitar player, I wouldn't imagine you'd have issues using those. But they are made of plastic as well. And they're, they're nice. Nice and flashy. She's gone out. All right, that's fine. Now, let me show you a, a couple of cables whilst we're here. Now, these are some cables from Magtame. If you look in the product carousel, we have two lots of cables. We have the lightning cable with USB-A on the, the end. And we also get the 60 watt USB-C to USB-C cable. Now, these are a little bit different to your standard cables. And it's one of those. If you've got one of these, you find it quite difficult to go back to a regular cable. Because it looks like a standard cable. But if we wrap this up, they've actually got magnets in the cable. Which means that we can just roll them up like that. So if you've got a drawer at home that is like just rammed with cables, which are really messy. They're all tangled up. I know I've got one. I've got a few actually. This could actually eliminate a lot of that issue. Just having together like that. Now they're not amazingly strong magnets. So if you do like 
wobble it about like this, they will begin to fall apart. You just literally touch the cable back to itself, it will reattach itself. Both exactly the same, they are braided cables. Let me give you a, a little close up here. So these are braided cables, they feel well built, they really do. I've got no concern with giving this a little bend on the end either. And I've had these for maybe a month and a half, two months, something like that. They've been great, they really have. Now I've been pairing this with the a charger. Let me go and grab this charger that I've got over here. <coughs> now this charger is in the product carousel as well. Let me just unplug the back, I'll just show you the base. So once again in the product carousel, this is the charger I've been using with it. Now this is a 120 watt charger, so we can plug loads of devices in this. You'll see, let me come to this camera here, you'll see we have a little laptop symbol as well. So if you've got a laptop which is capable of being charged with USB-C, you can actually charge it with this charger. Now you'll get 65 watts of power through either one of these ports. If you plug two devices in, it will drop to 45 watts, and I'm terrible in math. So 20 watts in the other one. We've got another USB-C port there, and we've got USB-A ports. On the back, we have a key which should tell you how much power can be delivered through each of the ports. So as we set up there, if we use USB-C1 and C2, we get 45 watts in C1, 20 watts in C2. Now, I've got a couple of devices where if I plug them into like a higher charging device, they literally just don't charge. I've got a shaver, which is like that. But we've actually got the, the other USB-C, which doesn't deliver as much power, and that actually charges everything that I've put in there. So that's been really good. There's no same whilst it's being used, so there's no like whining or humming, anything like that. Been great. And the point of me bringing this over was because I've been charging my mobile phone using this cable in there. And what I get is super fast charging. Now, my phone is a Samsung Galaxy S21. And I used a charger and all I ever got was fast charging. And that was good enough for me. So I was surprised when I plugged that cable in, which is 60 watts, into this charger and got super fast charging. So everybody loves a fast charge. No, I do anyway. Oosh. So there we are, two cables. If you are iPad, iPhone user, and you've got the lightning connection, there's actually the lightning cable as well. So lightning, one end, USB-A in the other to plug into your charger. Now we have, they're both $19.99. Let me just double check that there's not a voucher on some of these, because there sometimes is. And if we can save you some money, that's what we want to do. Mag Tame. Oh, oh, there is, there is. Here we go. Okay, so this is the USB-C to USB-C cable. So $19.99. If we tick the coupon box, we can save 35%. So quite a good saving on that. Let me just check the, the other one. Uh, duplicate the tab. Let's go back. So... Lightning to USB-A, and we can save 30% on this. So once again, $19.99, save 30%. If you buy more than one cable, you can save an extra 5% on top as well. So do just double check the listings. Make sure you're not missing out on any of these coupons to save yourself some dollars. Now, there's our little cables. Once again, do let us know if you want to see any of these products again. More than happy to show them back on the stream. So, very cold now. Very cold outside. Which means it's time to keep warm. Which means I need to try not to break my keyboard. Now, that was a bad idea, Randy. So, I need to show things on that camera. Right. Let's move him over here somewhere. And smash my screen in the process. Okay. Very cold outside. Which means we've got cold hands which is where we've got a couple of old Cooper hand warmers. Now, they are a little bit different. Now, I've seen a lot of hand warmers. They're basically just one big bulky unit. That's it. One of these is a little bit different. So let's begin with a nice blue one first. Oh, I've packaged that way too well. 
So this is what I mean by like the bulky units, although this is not actually very bulky. So O Cooper is the brand. Nice hand warmer here. Let me give you a little close up. So nice blue in colour. There are plenty of different colours available as well. Do hit the the listing, have a look. We can turn it on by the button on top. Very easy to use as well. So if you have like elderly relatives, you want to keep them warm through these cold months. This is very simple. So we hold that button down for a few seconds. You'll see we've got a little red light. Let me turn this light off so we can get a close up there. We've got this red light here, which means we are on the lowest temperature setting. If we just tap that once, we go to the second level, tap it again to the third level, which is the hottest. If you're concerned thinking, I don't know how much battery I've got left in this, double tap. There we are. I've got one bar of battery, so I need to charge this. And that is already started getting warm. So they get warm very quickly. Now it charges, which I love, USB-C. I want everything to be charging through USB-C. And this does it, which is great. And it's, it feels well built, it really does. And that is basically it. So you can't really go wrong with one of those. Now you're probably thinking, okay, I'll buy that. But once it becomes like spring and summertime, this is redundant. This one actually isn't because it doubles up as a battery pack as well. So if, if you want to use this through the cold months, keep your hands warm. It's actually nice and warm now. I like this. Yes, yeah, so once the cold months have gone and you're like, I've got no use for this, you can plug in your mobile phone into this and it will charge your phone on the go. Now it has a 5200 milliamp battery and we also get a little converter in the box as well. So we can plug a charging cable directly in, so a USB-C cable. If you don't have a USB-C cable, we've actually got this converter, which we can plug into the end. And now we have USB-A. So we are good to go. So we can charge our mobile phone up as well. Now, you, you can basically use one function or the other. If we plug a mobile phone into this, it will automatically disable the temperature coming through. It just becomes a battery pack. But if you've got nothing plugged in, it's basically something to heat your hands up, which is actually very nice at the moment. That is nice and warm. <clears throat> now, once again, let me just double check prices on this because I've done the silly thing of putting my keyboard over here. So we've got to lean over. Oh, Cooper. Oh, Cooper hand warmers. Let's have a little look. There we are. Oh. I'm, I'm going to press it. I'm going to press it. Super sale. Because I've just seen that this blue one was $27.99. But once again, tick the box. Save 40%. Massive saving again. So what's that? Less than $20. Not bad for one of these. Very nice. And here's the additional colours as well. You can buy a pack of two. So if you think one's not enough, you can buy two. We've got some blues, we've got blacks, we've got pinks, we've got, what colour is that one? Midnight green. We've got some nebula. We've got all these funky colours. So just have a glance through, see what you like the looks of. And I think you've got some as well. I think that might be one where it's a 10 watt charger, so it charges quicker. Now, I best mention battery life as well, haven't I? <clears throat> I've got it here somewhere. Okay, so 5200 milliamp battery. You can get up to eight hours of battery life from a full charge on the lowest setting. If you use the highest setting, you're going to get around four hours of battery life. So you could go to a sporting event, you could go to the football, you could sit there, use this through the game, come back home, give it a little charge. You'll have enough charge in there to put some power into your mobile phone as well. So very nice. Highest temperature is 131 degrees Fahrenheit as well. The lowest it goes down to is 107.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the other hand warmer I've got is a little bit different to this one. Let me just power that down. So uh, I don't put it back in the box and leave it kind of heating the box up. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Let's put him back in there. Now, this other one, also from Old Cooper, this, we get basically two hand warmers. So let me pull him out. Not very good at getting things out of boxes. 
There we are. Been very good. I've kept all the packaging as well. Now, we have two hand warmers. So rather than one larger unit, we've got two hand warmers, which are magnetic. So we can just put them together. So we can switch them on, use them very much like the previous one we've just shown you. And they are magnetic, so you can pull them apart. So you can have one in he each hand if you want to. You could give one to a friend. You, like I say, go to a football game, give one to the friend. You have one as well. Very good if you've got small hands, these. So let's give you a close-up. Now, both of these are identical on the back. I'll just show you to, to prove it. Although I've just... Well... Okay, one... I can't figure out how to hold them. There we are, identical. Now, both of these are 2600 milliamp. You can see the battery life there. So, uh, 5200 in total for the two. Same as before, if we double tap that button, that will show us how much battery life we've got. If we hold it down, that will pair it on. So, we're on level three there, highest temperature. Tap it once. So anybody can use these, very simple to use. And again, they both charge with USB-C. The cable you get in the box as well is, it's USB-A on the one end, USB-C, you get two of those on the other end. So one cable charges both of these at the same time. Now, you get six hours of battery life, so not as much battery life as the, the blue one. That one, you get eight on the lowest setting. This one, you get six on the, the uh, lowest setting. But you still get four hours on the highest setting on this. Let me turn this one on as well. This, now, this one that I've just switched on is nice and warm already. And as soon as I've switched this one on, that one's warming up nicely. So they do come on very quickly. It's going to take roughly around three hours to charge these up as well using the one cable. And we get 126 degrees Fahrenheit on full power on these. So pretty good. These are the L Cooper UT2S. Now let me just have a little look and see if there is a voucher on these as well. Ba 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 ba. LT2S. Let me make sure I'm just looking at the right one. Let me just type it in L Cooper. UT2S. Okay, so I'm on my Amazon. I'm getting thirty nine ninety nine, but I'm getting twenty four ninety nine on my carousel. So it might be cheaper through the carousel. So yeah, account apparently carousel. We got twenty four dollars ninety nine. If you do click on uh, click on it, just double check. There's not a coupon there that you can tick. Save yourself some money. So very nice day there. Nice and hot now. Beautiful. Now, this one, you can't charge up a mobile device with this. So, this really is just for the cold mums. So, if you basically just want to warm your hands up. So, that one there, the blue one, you can charge devices up with it. You can't with this. They are literally just hand warmers. Let me pack that away. I think it's time I moved on to another microphone as well. So this microphone you've been listening to, you'll see that the bottom there is the Fine Fine M6, which is a wireless microphone. You can plug it directly into a mobile phone. It is USB-C. If you want to use it on an iPhone, you will need some converters to convert it to lightning, but it can be done. I've used it in my Galaxy S21. Didn't need to install anything like open camera. Worked straight out of the box, plugged it in. I was good to go. Could use it on WhatsApp, or could use it on Instagram, TikTok. No issues, and the, the audio you can expect. Probably get a little bit of better audio if we hold it fairly close to our mouth. But you do get a little clip on there as well to attach it to yourself. Charges through USB-C as well. This is in the product carousel, so do check it out. Currently $29.99, which for a wireless mic is decent. So if you want to do any kind of content creation... If you want to film UGC content and you need a wireless mic, pretty good. Get some good range on this as well. So you'll have to be quite a distance away from your camera for this to stop working. It's it's good. I like it. Now, oh yeah, the before we move on to another mic, I've got another super sale. 
Now, I did mention earlier that I've been doing some gaming. I haven't been doing very well, like, but I've been doing a little bit of gaming. And these are the headphones that I've been wearing when I've been doing my gaming, which I've currently got tangled around everything. Again, good old fine fine. Honestly, they, they should give me a job fine fine. Beautiful. Now, these are my little gaming headset there. RGB lights around the outside of each of the cans. I'll give you a little close-up of that. Now, very nice colour sequence going through there. We can't change that colour sequence. We can't disable it either. So this RGB light will constantly be on the go when you're using these. We get some padding on the cans. We get padding on the headrest as well, which if you're bored like me, is an absolute godsend. It comes with a microphone as well, which literally just pushes into place. If I can find, there we are. So we've got ourselves a little microphone now, which I'm not sure if I've got this set up. Um, no, I don't think I have, unfortunately. But you just have to trust me when I say, for headset quality, really good mic on these, very impressed. Very comfortable. I've wore these for hours whilst I've been gaming. I've had some cheaper ones in the past which have hurt the top of my head and they've hurt my ears. These have been great. I've been using these for... It's got to be over six months now. Had no issues at all. Been great. Now, they are 7.1 audio. And we get a little controller on the side as well, on the wire. So 7.1, if you want to enable that, give it a little press. We can turn the volume up and down for the headset. That doesn't control the microphone volume. On the side here, you'll see on the back, we have a microphone symbol there. So we can enable and disable the mic through there. And you'll see we've got three additional options. So we have a, a music option. So mine went blank there. Music option, gaming and movies. And you'll see we've got a light and an EQ button there to toggle between the three. Now, I tend to leave it on gaming just because we get quite a lot of bass when we are using that mode. So if you're watching a movie and there's lots of action, let's say Bad Boys, for, exa for example, there's all like car chases and stuff. I tend to have it on the gaming mode because that bass just sounds great. 7.1 audio, all that surround sound, funky stuff. I like it decent so these are constantly in my little pouch here ready for me to set up and do a little bit of gaming now again these are on a limited time deal so this price is not going to last $31.99 they've knocked 44% off the price so 5% of these have been claimed so far so you might need to be a little bit quick if you want to pick those up now I did say we'll listen to a microphone so the time has come now, if you're just starting content creation and you ask for recommendations on a microphone, a lot of people will recommend like these really expensive mics. I always recommend something that is cheap, but is going to deliver a decent experience. The audio quality is going to sound very good. And this is the one that I always recommend to people to start with. Now, it's not going to be the best microphone in the world, but for how cheap this is, this is unbelievably good so let's give you a little glance at it so this is the fine fine a6v it's an rgb microphone you you can't control these lights unfortunately so the light sequence you see there is what you're stuck with we can mute the mic though there is a button on top hello molly go on then mom you're jumping over sorry my cat wants to jump over go on mom you're jumping on you're looking at me on the screen Go on, Mom. Big jump. <clears throat> Please don't step on my power button. Okay, back to the microphone. So we do have a mute button on top, which when we mute the mic, it turns the RGBs off. I quite like that. There's plenty of live streams I've done where I've been muted and I didn't realise. That would give me a very quick indication to let me know that I am muted. So I do actually really like that. We have this pop filter on the front as well. Also comes in a shock mount, so if you knock the microphone, it's not going to send huge shockwaves through to your live stream. Volume control on the bottom as well, which obviously controls the volume of the mic. And my cat wants to go out. 
and we also get a little stand as well. Now, the stand is not the best one in the world. It will get the job done, but you can unscrew this and mount a different stand onto there. Now, if you were looking at doing that, I would highly recommend, once again, in the product carousel, one of these, which is a Samsung MD5. Very heavy base, so you're not going to be knocking your microphone over. Really well built in the carousel. Oh, in the carousel. I've just smashed my desk. So, I think we need to have a little listen to this microphone. Let me just check, see if my cat wants to go in. Come on then, Mo. Do you want to go in, mate? Do you want me to open the door for you? Go on then, mate. There she is. She's gone. She's done one. And uh, to be fair, I can get my chair back now. That was the reason why I was sitting on a stool, because my cat had stole, stolen my chair. Okay, are we ready for this? Are we ready for some fine, fine A6? There we are. Hello. So this is this microphone. Now, this is currently $34.99, $34.99, so cheap microphone, but this is the audio quality you can expect. Now, it is a condenser microphone. The best audio will come through the front, which is obviously where the pop filter is. It will pick up some from the sides. It will drain out quite a bit from the back, but if you got yourself a keyboard, it's still going to pick that up. And I think... Especially if you're using an inbuilt microphone on, let's say, your laptop or a webcam, this is going to completely destroy that. So if you're doing content creation or if you're doing work calls and you just want to up your game, amazing place to start. It really is. I can't speak highly enough about this microphone. It is all made of plastic, so it doesn't feel like a premium microphone. But audio quality wise, I think it's really good. Now, let me just double check prices again. As I say, I don't want people to be overpaying if we can get things a little bit cheaper, which I'm looking at this and I think we can. At the moment, we can get 5% off this, so $34.99. You'll also see that we've got additional colours. So we've got a blue, a pink, a white and a red version, which still looks quite pink to me. So do keep an eye out on this microphone. I think it's amazing value it really is it, it'd be a great present for someone if you know someone who's just creating youtube videos have just started out they're doing live streaming on let's say twitch really good mic and you can mount it onto a boom arm as well it is a five eighths of an inch thread on the bottom of this so as long as you've got a, an arm that can do that or a converter to convert it from the five eighths of an inch to a three eighths of an inch you can mount this onto an arm and uh, obviously the lights look decent as well. I think it's uh, it would be a pretty good choice. I need to cough, so let's test that mute button. Yeah, I think that did the, the job pretty well there. So yeah, very good microphone, nice and cheap. I'm all over it, I love it. So if you're liking the, the look of these lights in the background as well, we've got some nice blue ones there. We've got this purpley pink one here. These are Nano Leaf lights. They are, once again, on the old product carousel. Let me just highlight one so you can see which one. So we've got shapes and we have canvas. So the shapes are these larger ones back here. Canvas are those ones there. You can use these with Alexa, uh, Google Assistant, is it Apple Home, IFTTT. You can configure these with pretty much everything. I've got these configured to my Stream Deck, so... If I do a live stream like this one, normally my, my room's like this. Let me turn this other light, which is not a Nano Leaf one off. So when I start, this is, I mean, look at that. Look how washed out I am. Shocking. If you want to add a little bit of ambience to the room, we just come in, tap a button. Oosh, there we are. We're back in the game. Beautiful. Then I'll turn my, my other little light on. As I say, it's not Nano Leaf. And it just makes... The home look much better, I think. These flashy little lights. Now, I've configured this with my Stream Deck. So I can start changing colours of lights while I'm sitting here. So I can turn them ready for one, too. I can start doing some greens. We can have a purple over there. So we can configure, the, configure these to kind of however we want. 
The view actually like a music effect as well, so it goes with the beat of the music. So it will just start lighting up when it detects any kind of sound, whether that's you speaking or you've got music playing. Really good. Can control them with Alexa as well, so you can say, Alexa, turn off my lights. It will switch them off. Very good. So they are in the carousel, so do check them out if you like the looks of those. Right. I might as well show you my... My main microphone that I use, my main fine fine. So if you do have any questions, do have a look at that carousel as well. If there's anything you'd like to see, we've got all the products here. Give us a shout because this is the, the main mic that I use. Actually, let me show you the back of this first. So this is the fine fine K688. We have controls for the audio monitoring and the gain. We can plug a three and a half mil jack in there to audio monitor. We got XLR or USB-C. Uh, which cat did you lay at your room? It was Molly who went out. Yeah, so a uh, very nice microphone. Comes with its own shock mount as well. It's already installed in the shock mount, so you don't need to do anything with that. It doesn't come with an arm now, so you will need either a desktop stand, once again, like one of the Samsung ND5s. It is in the carousel. Or you can mount it onto a boom arm like we have here. You do get the converter in the box to convert from a 5 eighths of an inch to a 3 eighths of an inch. I smell that. She's very horrific. My eyes are burning. Yeah, it was Molly. That might be why she was kind of clawing at the door. <clears throat> so let's have a listen to, uh, to this old mic here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Sorry, I didn't turn my microphone volume up. This is our fine fine. K688, which I will put my little ticker on right there. Now, this is the main microphone I use. So if you follow me on anything, you listen to the audio. This is what you're listening to. Now, I'm currently running this through my XLR setup, which is my Go XLR Mini, which means I've been able to kind of mess about with equalization to kind of give it a little bit more of like a radio effect which I think is much better when you're creating content. Now, I have got the USB set up, so let me just enable USB. Might be a little bit quiet because I don't think I've adjusted volume settings. And this is the USB connection. So this is what it will sound like straight out of the box. Will work in PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PCs, Macs, your laptop, plug it in, you are good to go. There's no need to install any drivers. And this is the raw audio. Let's go back to the XLR. Now you should be able to hear the difference from this over to this. So running through XLR, if you've got a decent mixing desk where you can mess about with equalization, you can change the effects to make it sound a little bit more like a radio. If you do use it through USB and you think, oh, I actually quite, I prefer the way the XLR sounds, but I haven't got a mixing desk. If you use something like OBS and you can put filters onto this microphone and you can change the equalization that way through all software. Well, to be fair, this GoXLR Mini is using software as well. It just means that you do the filters through OBS. And yeah, I've been using this mic for, it's got to be... I'm very bad with like times, time scales. I want to say a year, but chances are it's probably like about three years. I've had it quite a while and I'm very pleased with it. And again, if I do any kind of gaming, this is the microphone I'm using. So when I'm screaming and shouting, because I keep dying on Apex or PUBG, this is what I'm screaming into. Screaming into the void, into this K688 mic. But yeah, I'm very pleased with this. So I highly recommend this. Highly recommend pretty much any of the fine fine stuff i've had plenty of their microphones i've got the headset i've not had a bad product yet i'm um, hopefully i never do get one but even stuff like that which i bought which i thought that's probably not gonna sound that great to me it sounds amazing it's exactly what i was looking for i was looking for a little portable wireless microphone that i could go out and about with and this fits the bill perfectly and that is 29.99 let me uh, let me turn that off. Save a little bit of battery. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, but that charges through USB-C as well. I don't know if I'm going to get that in focus though, because my camera tends to focus on my my bald head. 
let me uh oh let me give you an extreme close up here so yeah charge through USB-C you get six hours of battery life on that little wireless mic as well from a full charge so yeah great you can pull the wind filter off if you want to not sure why you'd want to but you can do that so yes do we have any questions with regards to any of these products is there anything you would like to see again I mean, I could see that somebody checked out the, the gaming mouse, which is what I'm just getting familiar with at the moment. So it's been, it's, it's been fine for everything. I've, it's just me configuring buttons when I play Apex for my slide and action buttons and all that good stuff. Just getting familiar with it. But to be fair, yesterday I had a game and I went back to this old mouse and I couldn't use the old mouse. So maybe I'm getting used to this. But uh, yes, I don't think we've got any questions. I can see that the Fine Fine headset, 8% have been claimed. I think it was 5% when I was showing it. 8% claimed now, so I need to get in there fairly quick. Uh, what was the other one that was on the... The old countdown? Okay, headset, 8% claimed. And, oh, the mixing desk is also 8% as well. So, yeah, you don't really want to miss out. 31% off on the mixing desk. And we have 44% off on the headset as well. Now, I don't think we've got any questions. But, uh, yeah, do keep an eye out. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this live stream. Just get in touch if you do have any questions with regards to any of the products. More than happy to help. So let's love you and leave you. Enjoy the rest of your day. We do give us a follow as well on Amazon. We will be live again probably later this week. If not, it will be the start of next week. And uh, we will show you some products. And if you do think of any questions in the meantime, do pop into a future live stream. Do feel free to ask us. We'll help you as much as we can. So have a great day all. And uh, yeah, stay safe. We will see you very soon.